I don't know if anybody's uh, noticed the belt buckle. Yeah, fucking Space Invaders, man. Look at that. <laughs> what you gotta imagine is me naked, just wearing this belt, right? And my little willy down there, like the like the spaceship going. Game over. <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys normally do on a Tuesday? <laughs> Shits and giggles, isn't it? I um. I, uh, I play a lot of, um, lot of computer games. Um, girls, on the count of three, give me a Wii if you like the Nintendo Wii. On the count of three, if you like the Nintendo Wii, girls. One, two, three. Wii! Guys, if you like the Nintendo Wii, give me a Wii on the count of three. One, two, three. Wii! Not so much. It's more of a girl thing, isn't it, the Nintendo Wii? Look, I've got little paddles. Yay! Ah, yay, how fun! Woo! Guys. We're more about the fucking Xbox, aren't we? Xbox. Yeah. Because how good are your thumbs at doing that shit now? Never before in human history have thumbs been so fucking dexterous moving like that. And that's brilliant, because what else can we apply that to, guys? Yeah. You like that, do you? Oh, I like that, do you? Like that. So what I'm hoping the future holds in store for us, guys, is girls going, yay! <laughs> My parents are quite proud. Um, <laughs> right. But I, um, I learnt an interesting thing, right? I learnt an interesting thing. That, do you know that Pluto isn't a proper planet anymore? Have you guys heard about that? Pluto's not a proper planet anymore. It's a dwarf planet. Yeah, like dwarves aren't proper people. It's bullshit, right? <laughs> no, come on. Dwarves are proper people. They're just the Milky Way chocolate bar of people. They're small, they're fluffy, and kids fucking love them, don't they? <laughs> but you can't have something that's been a planet our entire lives and then suddenly turn around and go, actually, it's a dwarf planet. Fuck, let's hands up. Whose favourite planet is Pluto? Come on. Pluto's a brilliant planet. There can't be no fans of Pluto. Come on, you fucking love Pluto! He's brilliant, man! Because you forget he's out there, and then you remember and you're like, wow, life is good again. You know, and Pluto is like a long distant cousin you forget you've got, then one birthday you get some money from them, you're like, good on you, cuz! Good on. Imagine if you rung that cousin up and went, and they said to you, yeah, you know how you thought I was a normal person? Well, I'm actually a fucking midget now. How much would that rock your world? Because what's your favourite planet? Come on, you must have a favourite planet. What is it? Venus sounds like penis. <laughs> Dirty bitch, what's your favourite planet? <laughs> Jupiter, yeah, don't fuck about, go straight for the top, the big one, eh? I'm a fucking giant! Good on you, don't mess around with the tiny shit, go straight for the big gas fucking giant. What's your favourite planet? Uranus, that's what we're all waiting for, isn't it? I can't believe you two missed it. Uranus, well, what's your favourite? Uranus, it's always Uranus, but hold on, how long has anus been a word? Surely it's been a word long enough that when they were having the meeting to name the planets, <laughs> someone must have put their hand up and gone, hold on a second, that's a bit rude. <laughs> You're calling a planet Uranus. Yes. Well, what's wrong with that? And actually, it's pronounced Uranus. Whatever, mate, that's Uranus with an accent. People are going to see through that, right? And well done, you've named a gas giant Uranus. Brilliant, brilliant. Yes, well, you named a planet Venus. Well, what's wrong with that? As we said before, it sounds like penis. No! If you're going to take that juvenile approach, I'll keep my Venus away from Uranus. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! That's right, it's Uranus on the line, not mine! Fucking yes, London! If you've come out from planet-based comedy, you've come to the right fucking place! Oh, you didn't even know you wanted it, but you want fucking more, don't you? Don't even get me started on dinosaurs! Holy good God! My favourite dinosaur, my number one, was the Brontosaurus! Can't be my number one anymore, because it turns out the Brontosaurus never fucking existed! They put the wrong head on an Eliosaurus! How fucked up is that? Who finds the skeleton of a dinosaur without a head and goes, fuck it, chuck a horse head on? No, or no. It's bullshit, man! You know the worst thing about it? Who slapped into number one now? Stegosaurus? I mean, he's a good dinosaur. Defense, defense, attack. But he's no one's number one. Even worse than that, who's in my top five now? Terra fucking Dactyl. How shit is the Pterodactyl, man? It looks like Jillian McKeith. No one wants that in your top fucking five. 
And if you're out there thinking, well, what about the Velociraptor? You can fuck right off. The Velociraptor, no one had heard of the Velociraptor until Steven Spielberg rocked up with Jurassic Park. The Velociraptor is a phase, it's a fad, it's like flared jeans. In a few years, people will be like, wow, was your number one dinosaur the Velociraptor? You fucking loser. The Velociraptor is the poodle of dinosaurs. You, you fucking heard me. It's the poodle, and if you own a poodle, you're an idiot. Because poodles are the stupidest dogs in the world. They don't know they're a dog, so they grow wool. It's fucking shit. <laughs> Don't get me started. You guys have been working. I've been Jared Christmas. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Good night.